Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on collecting like terms involving powers. Now in the previous videos on collecting like terms, we saw how we could simplify expressions potentially involving a mixture of different variables, a mixture of different letters, but we didn't see any ones involving powers. Now we saw that if two terms were like terms, then they involved the same variables and it meant we could combine them together into a single term. So for example, if we had the plus 5x and then minus 1 lot of x, 5x minus 1 lot of x would be 4x. Now you might wonder we can combine it with this 3x squared because, well, that involves x as well. But basically, two terms are only like terms if a, they involve the same variables, but b, also involve the same powers. So these are like terms because they involve the same variables, x, and they involve the same powers. Well, they don't have a power, so the power is effectively 1. But this is not a like term because the x has a squared on it. So it has to be treated separately, and you can't combine it with these x terms here. So we've got an x squared term, we've got two x terms, and we've got what's known as a constant term because it doesn't have any variables at all. So when we simplify this, let's look at each type of term. Let's look at this 3x squared term. Well, there's no other x squared terms, so that's just going to stay by itself, minding its own business. Let's, let's look at the x terms. Well, these are like terms. They just involve x and not any powers. 5 lots of x minus 1 lot of x is 4 lots of x. Don't forget the plus before it. And then this is the only constant term, the only term not involving any variables. So again, that is just minding its own business and we keep it there, but it doesn't simplify with anything else. Now, this second one is a bit harder. We've got a mix of lots of different types of terms. So we can see we've got a constant term here. We've got an x term here. We've got a y squared term here. And you can see, look, we've got another y squared term here. And then we've also got a y term. Now, there's not much that can actually simplify here. This one here is the only, it's the only term of all of these that doesn't involve any variables. So we put the one there. We've got the x term here. Are there any other x terms? No, they're not. So again, we just have that. doesn't combine with anything else. What about the y squared term? Well, yes, this and this, they are like terms because they both involve y squared. So we've got one lot of y squared minus five lots of y squared. That's minus four lots of y squared, which we write as minus four y squared. And then finally, we've got this y term, which is different from the y squared terms because this does not have a power on the y. And so we just write the plus four y like that.